In today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can build your project for production to be deployed somewhere using the parcel build tool. So in a previous tutorial, we set up a server and uh, we got uh, parcel to compile our SCSS and other files for us. And in this tutorial, we're going to make sure that you can compile and minify all of your files so that they're optimized, ready to be deployed. So we're going to do this in a couple of steps. The first thing is if you have a parcel running already as a server, if we just uh, close that on the command line using control C and we're going to set up a new script in our package.json file to do the building. So if we just create a new script in here called build, it doesn't really matter what it's called, but uh, build obviously makes uh, sense in this instance. So uh, the command we're unsurprisingly going to use is just parcel build and we just pass it in as we did with the serve command the same uh, entry point that we want to build from. So in this case, again, we're going to start with the index.html files because we want to include that in our overall package. So all we need to do now is run npm run build and that will build our source files for production. Uh, there is just one slight problem. I think it's been introduced with the newer v2 version of parcel. Uh, if you've got um, a main property, uh, like your package is being uh, ready for deployed as a library, uh, then this causes a bit of a problem with the build process. So if we run npm run build now, uh, you'll see we get this error here. Uh, and it's basically saying that, uh, did you mean index.html in the main property, uh, which isn't actually a valid uh, property for main, uh, that if we change that to index.html and run it again, you see we get a different error uh, saying that uh, the main field is supposed to be uh, JS or something similar, because that's meant for building a JavaScript library package. So we can just actually remove that main property uh, from the package.json file. It's not required uh, for our process here. And then if we run npm run build again, uh, you can see it goes through all of our source files and creates the uh, production ready code. And that will be in the dist folder. So we can open that up here. And you can see here we've got some uh, JS files and some CSS files, which if you watch the previous web dev tip, you'll have noticed that we had uh, a SAS file, which has now been compiled down into pure CSS. Uh, and similarly for the JavaScript that you've got running in your source application as well, uh, here we've got uh, a couple of JavaScript files which are using the import and export keywords. And what Parcel has done is it's turned it into a browser-friendly format. In fact, in this example, it's just removed any dependencies on any external files at all. So it's the only thing the JavaScript actually does is log a message out to the console, uh, which you can see here in this particular index file. And you'll notice all the file names here have got unique uh, identifiers, and that's just to enable cache busting so that if you deploy a, a new set of files, uh, the index.html file uh, will always be pointing to the latest version of the code that you've been working on. So you, go, you can see that uh, it's pointing to this 805400F0 file, which is this one here. So you might notice as well that the HTML file has been minified as well, which makes it quite difficult to read. And uh, even if it's just been deployed somewhere, you might not want to do that for various reasons. So uh, if you look at the parcel documentation, you can turn off uh, minification if you want, or you can configure it to be a bit more fine grained to uh, maybe not minify the HTML, but do the CSS and JavaScript. Uh, so if you have a look at the documentation there, they'll give you some instructions on how to do that. But essentially we can just pass this no optimize flag uh, into the uh, script that we're building in the package.json file, uh, and that will turn off minification if you need to. So now you should have a distributable folder with uh, all of your assets that can be deployed to a server if you want to host your project somewhere. And every time you want to deploy a new version of your site, you simply run npm run build again, and you'll get a new set of assets that you can use to host your site. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.